Hi everyone, so today I just wanted to make a video to sort of like test my um, video equipment. Um, so I thought I'd do something simple and I like to swatch my Kiritake Kansai Tanbi set. Um, this is the set of 36 color. I um, purchased this, I, I got it on sale like two years ago. I think they had like a, I think it was Boxing Day sale, it was kind of like after um, Black Friday. Um, some art store where I live at a really good sale and I think I got like half off which was like so I like I jumped on it and I didn't use it for a while after um, only recently last year I started um, using watercolors more um, so yeah this this set is really really nice like it but the things that it's so big like you you cannot like carry this around at all um, so what I'm gonna do today is I'm just going to use this paper which I've um, score lines in I do want to like use ink because if they're wonky it'll show more um, so what I did is I did like this little squares so that are like one and a half inch by one and a half inch and we're just gonna fill them with the colors and um, see what they look like so this set uh, in the lid already comes with a swatch that you do yourself um, so they just basically I've already filled this and um, so you have an idea what the colors actually look like because the, the set does come with um, like the paper that's on top of the box uh, that has all the color names um, and it, it kind of gives you an, an idea what it looks like but these watercolors are like fairly transparent they, well it depends like oh you use them but sometimes they'll be really transparent so like this is not a really good indication of what the color actually looks like um so yeah um i did try to look for the pigment information but unfortunately i could not find any um and it seems like you know maybe if i email the company but from what i've looked like there are other people who are wondering about it and i haven't found information as well and i really look everywhere like on the website it doesn't seem to be like a common practice um kiritake is a japanese company so i don't know if it's not something that they do or if it's just them in particular um they're still like really nice quality but yeah it would be nice to know what the pigment numbers are um i do know that they are vegan um that the binder does not contain um any animal product but that's all i know in terms of like the materials that they made of all right so let's get started with the swatching um the first color that we have here oh that's also another thing like on the leaflet um the colors are not in the same order that they are on like on on the actual palette themselves um it starts with white white and black but white and black are like at the bottom so i think most of the other are kind of in the same order but oh wait no the purple is totally at the bottom so yeah so i'm gonna try to like match them because the the names in the actual palette are all written in japanese um i imagine that they probably sell the exact same product in, J in japan and then to sell here in north america they um they just made this little leaflet thing that they put on top so that you have the name in English. So the first color is the number 32, um, just called red. So in there. I probably should have put water down for this is way pigmented I don't really do swatches often okay yeah that's better um, the paper I'm using is the Kansen XL uh, I think it's cold press it's the one like everyone has like the one with the blue um, with the blue cover Alright, so for the next one, definitely gonna put some water down first. Maybe I can do like a few at, at a time. Okay, 
All right, so next we have color tool 35, uh, which is Carmen Red. these is that the pans are really wide and the paint is really thin and um I don't know if I can take it out but uh, yeah so you can see this one it like I just pulled it off and not touching it for a few months and I guess like in the box it was it like moved around like so you can see there's like a chip that I broke I can probably just put it back and then put like water for it to like white again and then it'll like stick together again i had a few that crack already though but it's just because the the, the paint is like like very thin so i guess that's just part of it like it, it doesn't change anything it doesn't change anything to the quality so you're not it's like you're... the only thing is that like if you i guess if you move the box a lot and it um like you have pieces that break then they'll go like everywhere um so then we went to number 34 which is dark pink it's kind of really similar to the Carmine. I don't know, maybe when it dries, we'll see the difference. I might go over this one again because I realized that I put way too much water and it's really pooling around the edges. So, the next one is number 36, which is wine red. Well, you can see this one is m slightly more bluish tint than the other two. And then we're moving to number 30, which is Fanium Red. So we had like tens that were more pinkish and now we're moving to tens that are very red. And then we have number 31, which is scarlet red. So already this is yeah this is gonna be very orange also I probably should have taped my paper down because it's already like um, bending but um, I can't really move my camera much I'm gonna have to like move the paper further as uh, we continue so I can't really do that but next time I might put it, if I ever do like swatching videos again, I might like put it on like a board that I can move. Uh, then we're moving on to number 33. Um, oh, that's too much. Um, which is orange, just straight up orange. There we go. 
the same with those pans that often like if you don't put enough water on the pan and um and pick up like a lot of pigments you won't have like a really deep color like the, like i said these are really light and transparent but you can have something that's a color that's much richer like we, we saw earlier like I, I i've managed to like really like flat colors with those that were like you know exactly the color you saw in the pan but i had to use a lot of paint for that all right next we have number 44 like i, I don't know like what their logic is for the numbers um I don't know if it's like across all the product that they offer for watercolor. They have these different colors because, to my knowledge, this is like all the individual pens that they that they offer. So, oh, and number forty-four is light brown. It's called light brown, but it reminds me more like of like a yellow ochre from other brand, which is this kind of like yellow but bordering on beige or tan. That's one thing that Another reason why I don't use that set as much anymore, I think, um, compared to like I made my own little palette, is that they don't have a lot of browns, and I find that when you do portraits, and you know the type of or like you know characters with brown hair, um, it gets really limiting. Like I know you can mix browns with other like to, with other colors to make browns, but I just rather have like a good brown to start with, and this set only has. I think or three. I think only two. Oh no, they have light brown, brown, and dark brown. But like the light brown is not really a brown. Oh, it's a good base for um, skin tones, I find. But and now we're moving on to number forty-three, which is mid yellow. Oh, that's really bright. It's like almost like you probably can't see it on the camera because my lighting is not that good right now, but it's almost like fluorescent yellow. I can see this palette being very good though, for um, nature looking through like there's a lot of green blues and all those like different reds and those pinks I could see being very good for um like flower petals um oh yeah now we're moving to number 40 which is lemon yellow oh yeah no this is way more fluorescent than this one <laughs> never mind and this looks like it's coming straight out of like an eyeliner. Um, next is number fifty-four. Um, yeah, we're moving on to the greens now. These were all the yellows. This is like... Oh, I forgot to say the name. Um, 54 is olive green. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. It, it, it looks like army green, you know? Like those army trucks and whatnot. I mean, I guess... I don't know if it's like like that everywhere, like every country, but you've probably seen movies with army trucks of that color. Um, next we 
next is number 51, which is Maygrain. Oh, wait, I totally, totally just did that one, my brush in the wrong color. Alright, let's try that again. So that's a very like bright green. It's not like fluorescent, but it's still compared to the olive green. I guess this is kind of like anime grass or something. There you go. Now we're moving on to number 53. Um, you know, like the numbers are not even like in order, like in the pants. So we went from like 54 to 51 to 53. Um, and number 53 is mid green. similar to no last one we saw to the make green but it's a little bit darker a little bit more blue sorry my <laughs> my camera only records time minute at a time so if things sometimes seems like jumpy it's because I have every like nine minute or so I have to get up and stop my camera and start it again and then do the same for my sound recorder. Oh, that was still, my brush wasn't clean. It's okay. I'll just dab away the little green. I think new cameras nowadays have like you can record longer for like um, DSLR and stuff, but I'm kind of a bit old and that's just how they did things back then. So, yeah, the last one we did was mid green, and now we're moving to number 52, which is ocean green. I guess this is gonna be more of a bluish green. Oh yeah. This is definitely more on the blue side. It's really cooler than the other ones we saw that were like more on the yellow side. Should probably go change I don't know if you can see it from this angle, like my cleaning water. No, I don't think you can because I zoomed in. Um, I should probably go change it in my next, after this current 10 minute. And now we just did ocean green, now we're going to number 58, which is evergreen. So I guess like the trees on a tree, evergreen. I think it is. I'm probably like a pine tree. Oh yeah, it's a much like deeper pool green. And there's too much water on my brush. I never really like swatch thing like other like the like the like I showed you earlier like the lid and um. So I'm learning as I go, but you know, you're not gonna learn if you don't do it like, if you don't try, so. And oh, another green, like there's a lot of green in this like compare. I mean, I guess there's six reds, so there's six greens as well. 
Um, we're moving to number 55, um, which is, where is it? Oh, it's just called green. It's very like turquoise on the, the label. So we're gonna see. Oh yeah, that it's, it's definitely like darker than on the label, but yeah, that's more of a teal. color than the other one. I guess they're, they're green so they really went from more yellowish green towards more bluish greens. So now we're moving on to the blues or like purples. Yeah, more blue. Um, so we're moving to number 58. No, not 58, 56. Um, 56. Uh, it's marine green. Oh, there's another green. I didn't realize it was green. Like, I don't know if you can, I can show you. This is um, the ones I'm about to do. So it's like, it looks really more bluish but I guess it'll be like a really um like a really bluish green wait is the other one a green too like what is 57 oh yeah 57 is turquoise green so there's more there's two more greens this is like a lot of green um which like I said if you're like a nature painter I guess this would be good for you Okay, yeah, that, so this is, so we're kind of going to sidetrack side here. Um, number 56, which is marine green, yes. So, going towards where I could teal. And then we're moving to number 57. Um, number 67 is turquoise green. So I guess there's like a, yeah. Ooh, that one's really nice. I don't know why, like, I, for a really long time, red was my favorite color, but lately I've been really into like teals and like really dark, like green blues. Like this is like really what I like right now. Like I got an iPad recently, like my iPad case, my iPad like pocket, and my iPad like the little like rubber accessories that go on the Apple pencil to like hold the cap, like of all that color or like all close to it. I don't know. I guess like sometimes you just your favorite color kind of change. I still really like red, but I'm, I'm really enjoying this right now. And oh, I guess we have one less green ish, so, but I would argue that it's like on the fence. Well, from what I can see in the, in the actual tin. Um, so this is number 50. Oh, wait, my water. Number 50, which is pale aqua. So, yeah, that's really like turquoise. It's almost more like a, a paint pale blue with a, a green tint than a green, but it's really like on the fence um, of these two colors. And then we are moving in the blues, I guess. Oh yes, um, so we have number 61 which is cornflower blue. It's this really like delicate blue. Kind of like almost like 
baby blue. So my uh, 10 minutes filming is almost up and I'm gonna go change my water and I'll be back in a second. I mean, I know you're not gonna know because like I'm gonna edit everything, but just to let you know. All right, so my water is all clean and um, we're back. I don't know, <laughs> no, the water was, uh, a really strange green color because I guess there was so much green compared to the red. Um, but yeah, let's let's keep going. We're I think we're yeah we're more than halfway there. Um, it's actually like really relaxing to film. Like I really understand people who do that now. And um, yeah, I like I like watching these. Like sometimes I just I'll just like put them in the background. And I'll like I casually look up when they mention like an interesting color. So before I had to get up, we were still in the blue, so we just dig in them. Uh, now we're moving to number 64, which is oh, just blue. It's just called blue. Also, if you, I don't, like I said, I don't know how much, like, my mic picks up, but if you're crunching sound, it's because, um, I'm here, like, in our, like, guest room, and that's where, like, my studio is, but that's also where, like, it's, like, the cat's bedroom, that's where they have, like, their food, their water, and, um, some chilling spots, so, one of my cat is currently, like, munching away, so, sorry if you hear that. And then, it's actually like kind of hard to like do all of this and talk at the same time. I need to get better at this. Uh, but yeah, uh, so like, so we just did blue. And then the next one is number 63, which is probably, oh, 63. Oh, it's Persian blue. Okay, interesting. And in Japanese, it says Mizu, which is water, so. I guess the names are not like a direct translation. It's probably like they probably use sort of like this is what we would call the color in English and not a translation of the Japanese term. I would say that like water is really accurate. Like this is kind of like if you were a kid and you're painting water, you're gonna use that color, even though water really is you know, really that color because it's transparent and you'll see that sometimes in like tropical places, I guess. Um, the next one is number 62, that's cobalt blue. more like muted I guess than like the Persian blue that's really bright I can see now that <laughs> I really struggle with the the reds like I might have to redo it redo them so you can have a better idea what they look like I did leave like empty squares up, up here because I don't want to like spill over to my table but um yeah, I might redo them for you. And then we are moving to 66, which is mental violet. Oh. It is, I mean, it's violet. I just like no idea, like, I never heard of like mental violet, so. Just violet. Uh, 
Oh, okay. It's not even like purple, it's just this really deep blue. Maybe there's like a flower that is that color. That's why it's called like that. Then I think these are all the blue that they were moving to. Oh no, the next one is number 67, which is the blue. I thought we were moving the purples, but I guess there's one last blue. Oh yeah, that's a really deep blue color. more like muted than um, like the other one it's more like on the grayish side than this one and then the mantle violet purples um so we're moving to number 38 uh, which is the violet oh yeah that's like yeah i feel like that's like the color like it's a it's violet but i feel that's like the co the color that you think about when like someone says like something is purple I mean, I guess like a lot of people like mix up. Well, not really mix up, but they like use purple and violet like intelligently. Because I think like when you're a kid, you you use purple first, and then you kind of if you need to learn the nuance, which is I actually not I like I'm saying that, but I'm not even like hundred percent sure. But I think violet is more um, towards. Blue and purple is more towards red, I think. I had color theory classes, I should know that, but it's just how life is. Alright, and then we have, uh, oh yeah, number 138, oh, no, number 39, sorry. Um, I feel like I, I have no idea how their numbering system works. Uh, maybe I can look into their other product to see if there's really, you know, that many colors that they offer. Um, yeah, so this is more towards red, more warm than the violet. My cat is waiting for me to open the door for her. So she's gonna stop here for a second. All right, and I'm back. Um, I just realized when I got up to like turn the camera like on and off again, um, that the the last row was on the other the screen, so now I've like moved it up because I don't have one of these fancy flip flip out screen on my camera yet so I think actually because this was this is an icon and this was at the time when I bought it, it was the sort of the cheapest DSLR model that you could get and I think now it did like the, the one that's like the cheapest has like a flip out screen because I guess I guess that's something people use more nowadays so they put it so if I waited a few years I would have one but you know, I've been using that camera for a while now. So, where were we last for? Oh yeah, number 139. And now we're moving to number 37, which is Deep Pink. Maybe 
maybe they we do like deep pink already, but it was dark pink. She was the one at the top. Oh, that's a really nice. That's a really nice color. A little bit more. in the frame right now but there's only like two rows to do left in the box so all right and now we're moving on oh, i think we're that's all for the purples and now we're moving to those sort of like miscellaneous colors uh they're not really like a group of color um so the next one is number 46 which is brown just plain old brown. Like I said, I'm not really a big fan of the browns in the palette. Um, but I guess like, if you were someone who was a nature painter, um, these colors would be good. But as someone who likes to draw like more like people, um, I find it's lacking for browns. Like this is, they say it's brown, but it's more like caramel or like burnt orange. Like it's really, it's not like what you would think about when you think about brown. It's, it's really on the orange side. So the next one is number 47, uh, which is dark brown. Like it always takes me like a second to find like the name on the label <laughs> but like i said they're not in order so oh, some of them are like next to each other like these two are next to each other that's like it reminds me of like van dyke brown like a really like grayish brown it's not really like a like a deep rich brown. I think that like my my custom palette has like four different browns. Like <laughs> I just use them a lot. I find that other colors are easier to mix, like with blues and um like if you want a purple or like if you want you know different mixes of green and whatnot i find that they're easier to find what you want than with like browns but maybe maybe that's just me that like i don't know to do it yet so these are the two browns um the next one we have is number 20 which is black then you have to look the name of that one and you for sure that it was black it's a really deep black Which is good. I, I kind of don't like when it's like, this is black, and then you put it on and it's like gray. <laughs> I'm like, no, I want black, black. And the next one we have is white. Um, I don't even know if that stuck is going to show up on the ear. What I find is that like, oh, well, I don't, I don't know if that's going to show on camera. Um, I can't I can't see it on the paper like it's more opaque than the other ones I guess I guess if you mix it with something then you'll have like a more opaque white what I do in my regular palette for my white is that I use um, gouache instead so if you mix it with something it makes something that's more opaque and that's really good for like covering areas 
and also like if you need like that one like little highlight in the white that's like this bright white on top of something then using gouache is really good um then then we're moving on to the like shimmery colors wait i'll show you um so you know they have these gold and silver they actually have a set that is i believe six pan i bought it I, I bought it but it was a good gift for a friend so i never like used it myself it's six like pans of that same size that are like silver and like different like golds and my friend really liked it but i haven't found they need to purchase this myself so far but it's out there they also have one i believe which is kind of like it's like colors it's like you know green blues yellow and whatnot but it's like pearlescent so all right these i do find you need to like put a few drops of water in first and then let it soak let me do that first they're a bit art like the other ones lift super easily from the pan but these are the three that are harder so so oh man i don't know if you'll be able to see how i think i bring it up to the camera a little like how my zoom works well but you can really see the white like compared to the white of the paper um so yeah so it does it does do something it's not like those white that you put on and you're like i can't i can't see the difference making so i imagine it would make a difference if you mix it with something else and so yeah, oh yeah we were doing the silvers and gold so the next one is number 95 which is silver I wish I had, like, I think this color would be really good on like black paper, but I don't think I have any around. You can kind of see it, right? I don't know. Like I said, I don't have a viewfinder. Um, uh, not a viewfinder. I mean, uh, a flip screen. So I don't know what you're seeing. I'll see it all once I edit this video. But yeah, it's kind of like a, like I wouldn't say it's like silver silver as as you would expect a silver to look like like a, like the more like shiny gray this is more like a pearlescent white like with a little tint of gray also pro tip if you're ever using pearlescent colors or any kind of shiny colors um change your water after because it will contaminate your brush and everything else that you're doing uh, i'm not to do it now because i'm doing like you know the three shiny colors in a row so uh, next we're moving on to number 91 which is bluish gold i thought it's a blush gold at first i was like that too but no it's bluish gold i guess it's a coal oh yeah oh yeah you can really see that one yeah i wouldn't really call it bluish but it's definitely like on the cooler side it's kind of like like brown like bronze sorry that was hard to pronounce it's more like a definitely like It's not like really what you think about when you think of gold. You think of that bright yellow. It's kind of like age gold, I guess. <laughs> but it's a it's really nice color. And then we have the last one, um, which is just gold. Oh, even this one is not like bright yellow gold. But you can see that it's warmer than the other one. It's also like, I don't know, like the way they apply feels really different. It feels almost like, well, maybe it's because I let it soak. But it feels more like applying ink than applying watercolor. Like it doesn't m move as much. And uh, you probably won't be able to see it on the camera because I'm not like zoomed in enough. But whenever you like 
past your brush when you really see the particle shifts it's really cool calculate it wait let's 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 count them together <laughs> so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five so i mix oh i messed up what color did i not do all right, so sorry. Um, so we have like six reds, right? We had four yellow. Oh, did I miss one yellow? Was it thirty-three? Oh, I think I missed one yellow. Cause I have, as you can see here, there's like. Well, I mean, this is orange, but like, so there's five, and I did four. Huh. Did I say 42? Yeah, I skipped bright yellow. I'm so sorry. Alright, um, let's put it like here, I guess. <laughs> I feel like I did that one though. Like the one that I was like, it's like an highlighter. No, yeah, no, mid yellow was the way. So mid yellow was the one I said it's kind of like an eyeliner and then I moved on to move yellow, um, lemon yellow and I was like wait that's more like an eyeliner and this is kind of like the in between of the two. I'm so sorry for that. Like I said this is like a learning experience for me so I kind of got distracted like talking and painting at the same time. Um, yeah, so like I said, I did tell you guys that I was gonna redo the f top row because it's kind of messy. I might just redo it like over and you can see like all the, the way the paints layer. Um, but first I'm gonna go well, rinse my water because like I said, it's full of like the shimmery particle. Alright, so I'm gonna, I'm going to redo the first row because that's kind of like the row that we learn how to swatch with. Um, I don't feel like improved. These could be improved, but whatever. So yeah, so the first one that we had was red. So let's try to. This is the one that at first I put like not enough water and then way too much water. Sometimes when people do swatches, like they do the whole like it's really like saturated at first, and then they add more water. But I know there's a few I kind of did that for, but I prefer to have just like one square of you know whatever the color ends up being. And then we have the carmine red. Maybe if it's more saturated, I like, will finally see like the difference um, between these two because they, they really look like they were the same. But no, they're not. So now that I find out that colors will look really close to each other, but they will mix differently with other colors. dark pink which was the one that looked really similar to the current oh yeah now I can't really see the difference I guess when there's a lot of water they look similar but you can see that the dark pink is much brighter than the carmine red Oh yeah, that was 
flying red. Oh yeah, now we can really see like how pretty this color is. It's really deep. It's really deep red. A bit of a bluish tint. It's like a edging of like burgundy. really it's really like edging on orange like i don't know if it, this happened to me all all the time as a kid like i would like i'll be coloring with like color pencil and i would grab what i thought was a red but it was red orange and i would end up like not being the color that i wanted and for some reason, red was just never there, like, even though it was supposed to be in the set, or I could never find it. So, red orange is the red of deception. And now we add scarlet red, which I think was more like an orange. It looks, I find like scarlet red looks more like orange than actual orange. So. Because this was orange, and this is scarlet red. Isn't like scarlet like supposed to be this really deep red though? Maybe. I find that when people talk about scarlet red, they talk about like red red. This is more orange red. So yeah, thank you for watching. This was really fun, and this is gonna allow me to sort of learn how to edit and everything and um get used to making more videos uh so yeah as you remember this was the karitake gansai tambi uh 36 color set i guess i'll just show you again oh, i don't want to zoom out so show you again what the palette looks like so yeah i had fun doing this and uh, maybe i'll if I get my hand on other palettes, uh, I'll make other swatching video. I this is the only set that I have that's kind of like oh wait no, what am I saying? Um, I also have a Sakura Koi set and um, for watercolor, and I also have the Arteza, I think twenty four gouache too. I only ever did like gouache like twice, and I didn't really enjoy it. Well, I feel like that's a lot of people's like experience with gouache is that yeah in a way I'm like sidetracking there but yeah so I do have other palettes that I could do like full swatching video if you guys enjoy that so yeah thank you for watching um, and I'll see you next time